Okay, so as far as uh, building these Quebec B escapes, they're pretty straightforward. I kind of get carried away on the joinery on these. You don't have to get that crazy. Uh, again, you can build them any depth you want. Uh, so I'm not going to give you very many dimensions here. Uh, the dimensions I don't believe are very important. Um, this is uh, this is three eight plywood I've used here. You could probably get down a quarter inch, uh, use half if you wanted. Three eighths is a, probably a pretty good medium there. And what I've done is I've taken this material. This is seven eighths thick uh, pine. You could make this out of three quarter inch lumber if you if that's what you have. I've run a, a rabbit. Uh, it's a it's a dado actually. I've run a dado through all of these pieces for that three eighths for that three eighths plywood to slip in there. You know, if you want to do that, if you don't want to do that, work your own way. Uh, also here, you know, I've got nice little rabbit joints, and they're 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 glued with waterproof uh, tight bond three glue and stapled there. So anyway, that's it. This is only 3 8 inch deep here. I don't know that that's very important, but you know, I bought one, I re-engineered re it, so reverse engineered it. So that's why I made them the way I did. So this side, this is a little deeper, 3 quarters of an inch, because my uh, triangle pieces, which are here, are half inch thick. So what I do, and I'm not going to really be able to do this because I've only got one hand right now, uh, is I just line these up, and this one is almost arbitrary. Uh, the the one that I purchased had a two inch hole. This is a, I think this is a two and three quarter inch hole. In my mind, the bigger the hole, the better, to give them the the opportunity and the drive to actually go go down through that hole. But anyway, so. So how I was doing this, it worked quite well, is I'd set this one up. Of course, I glue everything, put some glue on that, uh, set that in there, and then, uh, and then I stapled that on. So then that's my reference for everything else. So the other two go there, and what I've got here is some little 3 8 thick uh, setup blocks that can maintain my, my B-space spacing here. Okay, so then I can I can set these up here like this and glue and uh, nail those on. I'm using uh, I don't know what one inch one inch um, narrow crown staples to put these on. So those are those are stapled and, and glued in there, and then I can move to the, the longer pieces. And these are quite easy because they just slip right up against that setup block. I have to be careful because normally this would be stapled together by now. And then uh, just uh, glue and staple that. Same thing. Once you're all done, setup blocks and come out. And staple your screen on there. Again, I use window screen. Um, I staple it on there and then I, I trim it. You can use a utility knife. I find I have a pair of uh, uh, heavy duty scissors. They're, they're kitchen scissors actually. They're very, very sharp and they're very robust. So they actually cut that screen quite well. I can cut right along that, that little triangle piece. So that's how I build those.